Welcome to Feature Fridays. This is our series where we like to show you some of the coolest features inside of Ecamm Live. Today, I am going to talk to you about text overlays. I'm going to show you some of the lesser known features that might help you level up your presentations using our built-in text overlay panel. I'm your community manager, Doc Rock. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Here we are inside of Ecamm Live. Now, there's a couple of ways to bring up the text overlay panel. You can click on the T plus down here in the overlay window, or you can come up to the top where it says overlays and scroll down to new text overlay. But if you like me and you're a keyboard guy, you just press command N and you get your text overlays. Now you come in, let's type our favorite word. I want to pick the font that I would like to use but I want to make sure that every time I come in, I don't have to type the same font over and over and over and over and over again. I'm going to press under this collection area. I'm going to press on collection, make a brand new collection. Let's call this Ecamm. Press enter. And now you see, I have an empty set. I'm going to go up to all fonts, scroll down to the font I want. In this case, it's Norwester. I'm going to drag it over into that new collection we created. Now I'm always able to bring back that font. I want to add a couple more, something a little thin maybe. Let's scroll down and get Montserrat. It seems to be a really popular guy. Uh, I'll grab Open Sans, that's another good one. Let's go ahead and drag that into that set. And then I'm going to scroll up, see if I can find Montserrat. I'm going to grab this here, drag that into this set. And then I want to get one more that I like to use and it's called Collective. If you haven't noticed, these guys are in alphabetical order, but now whenever I come back to my text boxes here, I can grab the same fonts over and over and I don't have to hunt for them. It seems like I might have missed the Montserrat, so let me drag that again. You grab this, pick it up, and put it into the correct set. So there we have it. Now, whenever I need to use these fonts, I can always come back to the exact same set over and over again. So let's go and click back on where I was and say add. I'm going to use my scroll wheel on my mouse to embiggen it as needed. I can move it around, but you know, I want to give it a little pizzazz. So let's go here and select on the pencil. And now I'm going to say, I want this guy to fly in from the right. And so now if I hide this text, it will disappear. And when I press it again, it will come back. It will fly in. So let's give it a little bit more pizzazz. We're going to come up here. We're going to select the background. I like this background. I'm going to work with my corner radius to round the edges, make it solid square again. It's completely up to you. I can also use margins to give it a thick border or a thin border. I want to be somewhere like this. I'm going to turn off the effect. I don't really like the shadow and then go ahead. And now I have my little text box. Again, if I press the eyeball, it will disappear. And when I press it again, it will come back. What I want to show you next is how to create a scrolling ticker for when you have a large portion of text. Let's dive back in. Here in Ecamm, I'm going to press Command N to get a new box. I am going to paste in a large amount of text here. Let's paste that in. I want to select all of that using the crayon panel. I want to select white. I want to pick something a little easy to read. So let's go to like Montserrat and we'll pick, let's say, Montserrat uh, medium. So it's a little bigger, slightly bigger on the fonts. Let's go to like 24 and then say add. That's going to bring up our, wait, that wasn't a scrolling ticker. We forgot the important part. Come over here under style, go down to scrolling ticker. That's the important part. Now we press save again and we'll get our nice scrolling ticker here in the middle. What you'll notice, I can still move this at the bottom. I can move this to the top. So you do have some adjustments there. If you decide you need it to be a little larger, just double click on the box, select a slightly larger font, come back and press save, and then 
it will start all over. Now, what you'll notice is that this speed might be too slow or too fast. There is a little turtle here and a little rabbit here. And with this slider, you can adjust the speed in order to make it good for your viewers in your presentation. Now, I'm gonna show you a little fancy trick of mine because a lot of people ask, how do I hide the edges? I want it to not just come from the hard edge of the screen to the other hard edge of the screen. Here's a little tip I picked up from our building blocks team. So I'm gonna make a brand new area here, leave it on fixed position like this, make sure that my corner, corner radius is all the way solid, margin is okay, and then what I'm gonna do on the text is highlight it and take the opacity down to zero. Now you'll see here in my crayon, my opacity is set to zero, which basically makes that text transparent. When I say add now, I'm gonna get a little chip to which I can use to hide the edge. I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller and then put one on the opposite end, hold down the option key, drag it all the way across to the other side, line it up slowly, and there we have it. We have a ticker that slightly disappears and it doesn't look like it's just coming out of nowhere. It has a little bleed in, a little bleed out. You can make them different colors. You can style it however you want. But I tend to like this quick pro tip for whenever you're using a scrolling ticker. So there's two quick tips that can level up your text overlay game. There are so many things you can do in here. We're going to have to break this up into series. Now, let's say you're impatient and you need to know right away. We have a fantastic dynamic duel, Anna Hill and Full Jens Henry, who show you how to do everything in text boxes in their special series known as Building Blocks. I want to invite you to check out their show and also visit them every Monday in the Ecamm Live Facebook group as they show you how to do these things on their special show called ENN, or we like to call it the Ecamm News Network. They have some fantastic tricks that can really help you level up your text box game. I wanted to present these two to you. So you, that sounds weird. I want to present these two. I wanted to present these two to you so that you can see you can Customize your fonts so you're not always chasing and looking for your fonts every time so that you can be a little bit on brand a lot easier. But I also wanted to show you how to add a little something something to that scrolling ticker. This has been another Feature Friday. I am your community manager, Doc Rock. Of course, if you have any suggestions, something that you want to see on a Feature Friday, by all means, leave us a comment below and I will do my best to get it done for you. In the meantime, please press the like button, press the subscribe button, ring the bell so you know whenever we make another video and the YouTube algorithm is gonna show you two more videos that we think you should watch or maybe they think you should watch. It's confusing. Have yourself a wonderful day.